Junior Science Machines, how you doing? It's time to steam with the science machine. We're back. We're back. Now, as you can see, this experiment, it requires just a few things, just a few things. All you need is a couple of balloons. You're going to need a penny, say penny. Excellent. And you're going to need a hex nut, say hex nut. You can get it at the hardware store. This one's kind of big. This one's teeny tiny. Now, let's go. Let's jump right into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to take your balloon and take your penny. Stick your penny down inside the balloon, just like that. And then shake it to the bottom. Shake it to the bottom. Good. Now, we're going to blow it up. I'm gonna tie a knot, tie a knot science machine. Excellent. Now, I'm going to spin the balloon in the circle. I want you to watch the penny. Here we go. There it goes. You see that, Junior Science Machines? And there it goes real fast. And if you listen closely, you can probably hear it vibrating. Say vibrating. All sounds are made because of vibrations. Say vibrations. And so, if anyone ever asks you what makes sound, tell them vibrations. And listen up real close, listen. You hear that? Wow! And you can do that at home. But you want to make sure if you do this experiment, always wear your goggles. Because right now, as the penny spins around inside the balloon, it's creating friction. Say friction, junior science machines. Excellent. And friction slows down objects that are moving or it makes them change direction. And so as it spins inside the balloon, the balloon's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And so you don't want to do it for too long because it might pop. But if you do, make sure you have on your safety goggles. And that's awesome. And then, that got me thinking. And I said to myself, I wonder what would happen if instead of using a penny, I wonder what would happen if I used an object that has a hole in it. And so we're gonna grab another balloon, grab my yellow. Yellow's my favorite color, just in case you didn't know. We're gonna drop that on in there. Excellent, shake to the bottom, <laughs> blow it up. I want you to listen to the difference in sound, Junior Science Machines, because the hex nut has a hole in it. So, oh, gotta put on my safety goggles. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> Do you hear that? Wow! And the reason that it's making that super awesome sound, it's because the hole inside of the hex nut, it increases the rate of the vibration inside the balloon. And so if the tiny hex nut makes a pitch that's high, like this, what do you think a big hex nut will do? It'll probably make a pitch that's low. So let's check it out, let's check it out. So we're gonna get my green one, and we're gonna stick, we're gonna stick the big hex nut inside the green one. So you gotta open it up really wide because this one's, there we go, you're almost there, science machine, good job. Okay, and we're gonna stick that on in there. Perfect, down to the bottom. Excellent, now we're gonna blow it up, here we go. Very good, tie a knot. Excellent science machine. Now, perfect, now. Okay and listen to the difference in pitch because the hex nut has a hole that's big. It should be low. Okay, I'm excited. Here we go. Wow! You hear the difference in sound, Junior Science Machine? Now, listen to the one that's really small. And then, Listen to the painting. This one doesn't have a hole at all. Hold on. 
You see the difference? Wow! And so those are just a few simple experiments that you can do with three different balloons. And I'm sure you'll be having as much fun as me. <laughs> well, I'll see you for the next experiment when we get together for It's Time to Steam with the Science Machine. I'll see you later. We're back. Number two. Number two is awesome. Pay close attention. All you really need is just two tea, two liter bottles, two balloons, and you need a little push pin. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Stick your balloon down inside the two liter bottle, and then once you stick it in there, I want you to blow it up. You ready? Well, I think I'll use my green one. There we go. You ready? All right, here we go. One, two, three. How's yours look? <laughs> now, I bet that yours doesn't look like mine. And this is why, this is why. Now watch this, because this is kind of incredible. I'm going to take my hand and go And I want you to watch what happens to the balloon. You ready? All right, here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Let me show you what's going on, Junior Science Machine. There's a difference between this bottle and this bottle. This bottle is probably like the one that you have at home. And this bottle is like the one that you have at home too. It's just a little bit different. And this is what I did. I got one of my push pins and I made some tiny little holes right down here at the bottom so that when I blow down into the balloon, all the air that's in the bottle comes right outside the hole. And then when I wanna trap it, when I wanna secure the air pressure, I just cover it with my finger. <laughs> like this. See that? And then when I went like this, all that I did was take my finger off the hole and it let the air back into the balloon. <laughs> Watch. One, two, three. <laughs> when you would blow, oops, I'm sorry, Mr. Balloon. There you go. Now, when you would blow down into your balloon, because you didn't have a hole at the bottom, there was no place for the air to expand to. <laughs> and so yours probably looked like this. But you give it a try anyway, even though I gave you the answer. <laughs> so, two balloons, two two liter bottles, a push pin, and you can test, you can test your powers. <laughs> I'll see you later. And make sure you tell your friends, it's always time to stay with the science machine. I'll see you later.